Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box and Bag. In case you're interested in these two subscriptions, I will leave links for them down below in the description bar. Let's go ahead and see what our theme's going to be. Oh my gosh, did you guys see last month's box? It was epic. I'll put a picture up now. I love the colors. So pretty and awesome beads. Okay. October is it gonna be Halloween? It's gonna be fall colors. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those are really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. I wonder. Let's see. This one's my favorite. Oh my gosh, it's a really hard decision though because I love that one. That looks opal. Look at those two. Those are gorgeous. So that's three. Oh my gosh. Okay, these look so good together. Alrighty. A while back when I got mine frame. Oh, I need to adjust my camera. Okay, a while back I got a dollar bead box and the colors were gorgeous in the dollar bead bag. Like all of them look good together. Here, I'll show you. Look at these four. Look at these four. I ended up making with the dollar bead bag a, I think it was chevron, the pattern. I don't know, it could be another pattern. Oh man, it was a while back. It was a bangle bracelet done with Czech fire polish beads. I will put a picture up now of what I'm talking about. And there was another time where I made a ring using the 3mm beads, so I'll put a picture up for that. Yeah, and if I could think of any other projects that I have done with Czech fire polish beads. Oh, there was a necklace and bracelet set that I did. I'll put that up. And I'll look through my stuff because these are gorgeous together. And so, you can make something just with these because they are so pretty together. This is Opaque Light Caramel. I thought this would be um, called Beige Opal because it looks just like the color looks just like the beige check for polish beads that I collect, but it is opal looking, like it's milky. It's very, very gorgeous. I've actually never seen it in this uh, milky look before. I really like that. And then matte or shiny smoky topaz. I got shiny. Yeah. This is very pretty too. I have this smoky topaz. Or what's the other name? Smoky quartz color in two different shades. There's one that's more gray and one that's more brown. 
I think this is the more brown one. It's very pretty. And then matte rainbow bronze. This is gorgeous. Goes with a lot of beads. And then this one. I either got topaz crystal copper. I feel like I can't say this. Topaz crystal copper or crystal terracotta. I think I got the topaz crystal copper. I recently got this bead in a 7mm and I used it in a necklace. The color is gorgeous. It is actually crystal clear and then it has I guess this copper coating on it but like only half the bead. It's very nice. And then four millimeter strands. Um, this is beige terracotta. This is gorgeous. I would like to go back and buy this one and this one. It's really pretty. Look at that. So I've only seen this style of bead in purple and pink. But I've never seen that color. It's very gorgeous. It looks like stone. And then vintage gold iris. That one's beautiful too. And matte or shiny smoky topaz. This is shiny. So these here are the same. Sometimes the three millimeter will look just a little bit lighter, but that's only because the bead is smaller. Those are very sparkly. I like those a lot. And matte or shiny topaz. I got matte. That's very pretty. And right here, look. The color. Come on, I'm waiting for my camera focus is in that bead. It's really nice. Okay. Those are beautiful strands. I'm going to set this to the side. Oh my. Wow. This one is stunning. I wonder if I... I don't know if I have this one. I want to say mine's opaque. Like beige with this finish on it. Very pretty. Strands. Oh, I love those. Huge. Three colors. That's strange. Don't you just see that? They're all pretty though. Carrots and leaves. Wow, those are gorgeous. I like that we got copper. These are gorgeous. I wonder what that color is. This beats me. I've seen this before. And I love the fly. It's a fly. I see it. I think it looks like a bee, but they call it a fly. These are Czech pearls. Those are gorgeous. Again, excited about copper. That's pretty. I thought it was a cabochon at first. Oh my gosh. It's a new check glass flower. I'm going to be obsessed. That is very pretty. That is like super competitive with my other flower that I love so much. The anemone one. And I love how big it is. And that's a uh, green. Very pretty. Oh, here's another strand. I didn't see this one. That's pretty. Okay. So I'm loving... Oh, there's another strand. I'm loving the mix this month. The fall colors are nice. I'm very excited about the fall. Strands is first. 5 by 15 millimeter. Check glass rectangle tube. Crystal travertine. I like this very much. It's pretty. If you look at it this way, it is rectangle shaped. And of course it's rectangle shaped here. But I thought this would have been square. But 
It's rectangle all the way around. Okay. Those are very nice. You know what? I think we could stack these and make a ring. It'd be pretty big though. 15 millimeters. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. It'd be a very big ring. And then 5 by 6 millimeter check glass twisted rondelle. Oh, this. Topaz. This is gorgeous. I love the shape of this bead. It's actually twisted if you look at the one side. It's super smooth. It doesn't have sharp holes. And I'm trying to remember if I've used it before for weaving, but I don't know. Next one is 3 by 5 millimeter check glass gem cut rondelle. This is awesome. I love the color. The color is called corn silk. That's strange. Anyways, I have used this bead a lot for weaving with. First thing off the top of my head is the romantic ring. And I think there was a pendant that I did. But anyways, this is, um, the gem cut rondelles are amazing quality. They have really smooth, clean holes. They're not sharp at all. And it is just a beautiful bead all around. And then, 4mm check glass truck. This color is topaz. Was, that one's called topaz. So this is topaz. This is, look at the color difference. This one's matte, but this one looks lighter. I do like the lighter one more than the darker one. Actually, the one in the middle is looking yellow. Okay. And then... 5mm Check Fire Polish Crystal Swirl Travertine. This? Yes. Crystal means clear. Swirl. There's... Um, swirls, I guess, inside the bead. And it doesn't look travertine to me. I know they're saying it is, but it looks Picasso. Because, do you see? Blue, green. Markings on it. This one's travertine. Travertine's always brown. But Picasso has blue, green, and even purple. See what I'm saying? That's definitely gorgeous. You don't want to see it with a bead from the bag. Oh, look at that together. Those are nice. Okay, and then this, 8 by 14 millimeter check glass owl. Three color combination. So turquoise and gold, black and silver, and beige and gold. They are very beautiful. I definitely love the turquoise in this one. Okay, so bringing these beads down. Now we're going on to additional things. I should have got my camera set up better. I thought I had it, but I guess it was off. 12 by 8 millimeter check glass tabular rectangle. Beige opal with black. What are they talking about? Beige opal. Oh, that's this one I was drilling on. Beige opal with black. So, I kind of have a bead like this in my stash, but mine's not this color. Mine's pink and black. Wow, it is so gorgeous. I wonder if this is a uh, new. I've never seen it before. It looks like a gemstone. It looks like agate, especially that one. Oh wow, look at how different the other side looks. Those are gorgeous. I would love to have a ton of those. I actually wish there was a strand instead of just four. 
They're probably pricey, and that's why they're in the bag. Okay, and then 15 millimeter check glass triangle pendant jet travertine. Oh, I forgot that was a pendant. I thought it was a bead. I thought I was going to show you. I thought it was uh, drilled from the point through the center, but it's not. It's actually drilled right there from just one corner, so it, it's like a drop or a pendant. It's cute. And this is Jet Travertine, but again it looks like Picasso. I think it's Picasso because Travertine's brown. Okay. And then 9mm check glass tabular square chartreuse travertine. This. I've got this color before in the really large um, square bead. I use it as a pendant and a lariat. I'll put a picture for that. These are gorgeous. I don't think I have this size. This one is definitely travertine. Cause see how it looks brown? Doesn't have it. Like this is totally Picasso. They said that's travertine. And see the little blue greens and even like purple specks on it. And then 11 by 13 millimeter check glass maple leaf crystal multi. Oh my gosh, five pieces. I really love this one. This color is so special. I've never seen it before. What's this about? Crystal multi? Does that mean that like those are all from you know the same family, but. This one here looks so different, like it's, hmm, it must have just been different colored leaves, and I somehow I only have one or the other, I don't know, but aren't those gorgeous, they are so beautiful. And the next thing is 10 millimeter anti copper plated full bead cap. Oh, that's this. These are pretty. Someone had posted a whole bunch of copper findings on Macari. It was a, like, you know, the flosser box or like a tackle box full of copper stuff. And it was really overpriced, and I liked it. And um, someone ended up offering a price on it and got it on this out on it. But they had all kinds of copper beads in it. It was beautiful. Copper seems harder to come across than silver or gold or antique bronze. Antique bronze has gotten really popular. Next is... 20 by 24 millimeter anti copper southwest cross. Oh. This. I think. I think I have this shape in silver, but I don't think the pattern's the same on it. I think it's a different pattern on it. That's so cute and it's really lightweight. It's hollow, it's not solid but very cute. I should have got something to drink. I'm dying of thirst. What's next? 5 by 12 millimeter check glass 
squared oval alabaster white with travertine 15 pieces is this it squared oval I think this is it it just sounds weird check glass squared oval but I think what they're saying this way is oval but this way is square do you see that and what I really call these is just twisted drops I think I've used these before to make a ring this color is gorgeous I love this color I have this in 6 of seed beads but um those are really cool again how many was there 15 so there's enough to make two flowers but I don't think I would use these to make flowers because there's you know a bunch of them here I think I would use these in a stringing project like a necklace next thing is 17 by 22 millimeter check glass bumblebee oh now they're calling it a bumblebee the color is amber crystal one piece so I got this before in white and they called it a fly but I thought it was a bee what do you think fly or bee I would rather it be a bee because flies are gross it is gorgeous it actually is um, transparent it's called amber crystal but these it has like a clear has like a clear see-through top if that makes sense I really see it on this side it's gorgeous this would be perfect in my creative dreams bracelet the centerpiece And so with this, I love this one so much. Oh my gosh. 17 by 22 millimeter check. No, I already did that. Uh, 11 by 17 millimeter check glass cat. Opaque white with gold. I don't feel good today. I have really bad allergies. And I stopped my allergy pills because they weren't doing anything. And I was going to try a different brand. But I haven't changed it out yet because I wanted to actually see if the allergy pills were doing anything for me. Because I feel like they don't. And I have been very sick today. These are really cute. This is the angry one. This is the angry face. There's another cat bee that's just the head. And I kind of like that one more because this one just looks so mad. He looks very angry. But it is the whole body, so that's kind of neat. I really like it in this color. I have received it in the past in some strange colors. Didn't really show off the cat design. But this one does. Okay, we have three baggies left. Um, 10 millimeter check glass Baroque Pearl. Ooh cream six pieces these are cool I've never seen them in this shape I've seen this uh, check glass color in a nugget shape but I've never seen it in this one they actually look plastic to me but they are definitely glass or they're, they're heavy those are cool and these are so doggone expensive I can't believe how expensive check glass pearls are where am I at now 10 millimeter check glass daisy oh my gosh that's what it's called honey orange one piece so it's called a daisy and it's so precious I'm gonna be obsessed with this bead now I bought a whole bunch of the Anemone ones in the past. Look at how precious. And I love the color. It's called Honey Orange. 
it's actually milky it's opal milky if you put it up to the light it's that opal milky color that is so pretty and again this would be an awesome centerpiece for the creative dreams bracelet And what about a ring? Yes, definitely ring. But I would have to figure out how to do it. I don't think I could bezel it because of its ripply edges. Okay, last thing. What is this going to be? 15 by 30 millimeter yellow jade oval, one piece. Jade. Oh my gosh, this would be a perfect cabochon. It's a bead, the hole's right there. But a cabochon? I love doing stuff like that. Using a piece for something else. Instead of using it as a bead, I would totally set that as a cab. Here is everything we are getting in this month's dollar bead box and bag. And I'm in love with the color mix. I've never really seen another subscription box mix the colors together like this before. It's very beautiful and fall-like. And I'm very excited about the fall. I'm so tired of sweating all the time. There are some really unique, gorgeous beads in here. These are incredible. I like this too. The leaves are awesome, these are unique. The fly, bee, whatever you want to call it, that thing is like the coolest bead. I can tell that I'm already going to be obsessed with this flower. I'm going to have to go and hunt for this flower and see how many colors I could find it in. This one's incredible. I love that strand, the owls, this this three millimeter, love that. This one, this one here, I would also like to reorder this one and the opal beige. So the the whole box is just mind-blowing very gorgeous beads this is it i hope you guys enjoyed the box opening and bag opening i will leave links for both subscriptions down there below in the description bar all right please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites i'm on instagram pinterest and twitter thanks for watching